year, COVID-19 changed a lot of things, including our county fairs. This year, the wait is over. The 163rd Lucas County Fair opens today. Zainab Shaib explains what to expect. Well, the Lucas County Fair is finally back in town for the 163rd year, and with us is Jody Flores. She's a board member for the Lucas County Fair, and Jody, you've been around the Lucas County Fair for about eight years, correct? Correct, I have. And uh, last year was uh, kind of difficult, yeah. but what do you hope to see this year? This year, I'm hoping people come out, they enjoy what they see. We have entertainment, we have nightly acts, we have rides. Well, we will have rides. They're getting inspected at the time. We have the food, and of course, we have the kids and their 4-H projects. And in speaking of 4-H projects, we actually have uh, a member of the 4-H club. She is part of the Lucas County Junior Fair. Please introduce yourself. Um, I'm Lillian Phillips. I'm 13. I've been here for about three years now. And that is really exciting. And you're actually going to uh, be a part of uh, the competition, market competition with these ducks, correct? Correct. So what will you be doing today? Um, I'm going to go to Skillathon to test my knowledge. Hopefully, I do good. Well, good luck to you, Lily and Jody. How can we uh, purchase some of these tickets to per participate in the fair? Just come off Key Street, enter the gates, and we have people there. It's seven dollars, free parking. Well, thank you so much for all that information. Now, if you're looking for more information about ticket prices and about the fair, you can head over to WTOL.com. In Lucas County, Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11.